Hi there and welcome to a new video in which we are going to be checking out Code 4.4 Beta 3 which as you can see has just been released. And well, it was quite surprising because it's only been a week since uh, the last release and we can even check this out. This is Code 4.4 Beta 3 and over here we're going to be finding 4.4 Beta 2 30 January and this is 7 February so something like 7 days between one release and the other so quite interesting. Something interesting, the fact that they are probably going to do one more beta release next week. And after this uh, last beta, they are going to start with the release candidates, which is the last phase into uh, launching like the brand new version, in this case, Go.4.4. So probably in something like uh, two to four or five weeks at most, we should be having the new version. So as we have been covering the latest betas, there are not like lots of interesting things in this new version. Uh, so if you really want to know the, the most important things about Go.4.4, you have to go to the 4.4 beta 1 post. Uh, and here, well, you will see uh, more things that are news in the betas. Or even from here, you can go to um, like the... Let me look for the post that I want to mention. That is 4.4... No, well, actually, this one is the one that will also summarize all the most important information about 4.4. So, well, I really encourage you to read this one if you don't yet know what is coming into this new version. But for now, let's come back to beta 3. So, first of all, now we have a new UID upgrade tool. If you don't know what UIDs are here, they have created a dedicated article for this new feature because it does have, like, lots of things. Uh, but basically, this is a newer way of referencing uh, your files so as you can see this is the usual way that you would do it and this one is with uids so now it doesn't matter if you change the location of the file or anything like that you are always going to be able to access it because it has a unique identifier or uid of course it, it still has lots of more things so if you want to read more you should look for the dedicated article but the problem with this system is that it was complicated to migrate to update uh, projects to this new version so now there is going to be a, a UID upgrade tool to automate this process. And if we go to the pull request over here, we should maybe be able to see some more information. As you can see here, the pop-ups that maybe you will have. So you can directly press over here, restart and update. And all your, your UIDs when you're up upgrading from 4.3 to 4.4 should be correctly upgraded. Now also there have been lots um Lots of improvements in the embedded floating window mode for the game window, basically. Because yes, it was working, but it had lots of bugs of bugs over there. So in this video, we're going to check it out if, if they have been fixed, if, they, if it is working better now or, or not. And so here are some uh, basic improvements in the light map. In the light map, light map baking, more specifically. And also, well, you have even more things that maybe are worth uh, mentioning for some of you, or well, actually worth reading. But uh, I didn't find anything that I that I would say, okay, yes, this is something that probably the general go to user will take advantage of. So, well, you can uh, look for the entire list if you really want to. Because right now, as you can see, there are like lots of improvements in general. Once again, this is a beta, so we shouldn't be expecting tons of them. Um, but well, it is what it is. So I will go ahead and download the standard uh, version. Okay, and I will also just turn on the, the highlighting of the cursor uh, so we can see it better. And well, I will just go ahead, open this up. I will close this pop-up. Okay, and we'll see if there is anything new. By the way, the first thing that you will see that it's a little bit new is the fact that now the window uh, that you open by default is a little bit bigger. If I open 4.3, for example, as you can see, it is uh, smaller. This is 4.3 stable. Or even I have over here, I believe this is 4.4 dev 5. 4.4 dev 5, as you can see, now the window is much bigger. Um, you also, when you create a new project, you have this edit now button. If this is enabled, which is the default option, as soon as you press create, you will also go inside of the project and start editing it. Or you can directly disable it and create as many projects as you want to. Probably not an option that you will actually like be taking advantage a lot, a lot of uh, when you are creating your projects, but well, it is there. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and create a brand new project over here. And I'm going to give it a second. So here we have it, okay. Uh, I will I will super quickly highlight some of the important stuff. So for example, now for the camera 3D, you now have um, a preview, okay, in the inspector. So as I can move this around, uh, I can rotate this if I want to, and there you can see how it's changing. So quite useful. 
you can also uh, right click on any of the properties and favorite it so that is going to be displayed on top or you can also right click and unfavorite it and well the other main main new thing is this new game tab over here uh, that I will go ahead and check out in a second and also just for those who don't yet know if now you go to project settings 3d physics you can select natively jolt physics as you can see it is not the default physics engine selects it because there are still some stuff that needs to be like done correctly to complete um this kind of update or to actually make it the the default physics engine but well it is at least uh, natively integrated and well now that we have this i want to show you the game uh, view over here and for this i will quickly just uh, grab this camera move it maybe there and i will also go ahead and add uh, a brand new mesh instance and i will create a square or whatever a sphere it is the same and also you can see with the camera i can see okay where the sphere is so maybe something like that and i will also go ahead and add the sun and the environment okay so there we have it so i know yes here the sun yes because i, I think that it wasn't uh, added at the very beginning so i will just run this in okay and you will see now as you can see when i run the project i have well more options uh the input mode okay this is the default one uh that will basically allow you to use your keyboard to move around if you have a controller or something like that uh, and you can also select 2d and control nodes or 3d nodes so i can select this circle and as you can see all the properties will pop up so if i wanted to change the scale to three for example okay i would be able to do so so that's the main advantage of it okay this is something that you may have in other engines if you're familiar with them, such as in Unity and something super useful for debugging, modifying properties at runtime, etc. And there were like lots of problems here. As you can see, this bug is still there. Like when you move around the screen, it like breaks everything. Uh, so this still is there. And also, I know there is a, like a small break pop up. I don't know if yes, there you see like it's kind of crashing. Yes, I did that there. You were able to see it again. Uh, and also a good thing is that now you have uh, uh, to keep the aspect ratio uh, or actually let me uh, disable uh, make game workspace floating on X play. I don't like it like this. What I like is actually just having it over here as you may have in Unity. And also here you can uh, keep the screen size so that it keeps the aspect so that it is not like completely stretched out. So that is also quite quite useful but well it means to to be some improvements in this behavior as you can see it's still quite buggy some stuff um so i, I believe that the pop-up it says go to this download so it's like kind of closing and opening this up so well quite weird <laughs> but well it is what it is so well of course i'm going to be covering the future betas or release candidates and of course when the official version comes up so if you want to be the first one on knowing this news make sure that you're subscribed to the channel